Okay, John Tyler here once again with a how-to. Today we're going to put uh, graphics on the sides of a Mustang. Doesn't matter the year, it's the same thing. <clears throat> you buy these things in a kit form. They come in a cardboard box. You open them up and then you have to install them. But let's go to phase one of this before we get started on the actual installation of these uh, graphics. Okay, so you buy the decals to go on your Mustang, right? And then they come in a box and you take them out and you unfold the whole things and uh, you look for the instructions, but you don't find any. So you go on YouTube, whatever, and you find out, are there any instructions to install my stripes on my Mustang? And the answer is, nay, nay. Who said that? John Pignet. In any event, this is how you install those side stripes. I've, you, you lay them out, you cut each piece out with a pair of scissors. Each piece, there's 12 of them. Six for side A, or right side, and six for left side. Then you mark them like I did. I had a diagram, um, and I built this diagram just for you to make life easier for you. So the first one you want to start out with, these are R, meaning right side. So the R1 is you want to put that bottom one on just above that. Uh, there's a little rise in, in your, the bottom part of your door. So you want to put that on first. Then number two, you'd put that little, there's a little piece that goes from R1 to the rear wheel well. Put that on. Now you got a nice straight line. Now you can line up the bottom of R3 to R1, right? And that will be, now make sure R1 closes at the door or close by. You can even lay these out and tape them with masking tape before you install it, if you like. I'll probably do that too. I haven't installed these yet. Mine are gold. So anyway, then you put R3 on and then I mean, you've got an automatic line now for R4 and R6. R6 is a little teeny stripe thing that goes behind the door handle. Now, R5 is a U-shaped thing that fits underneath that rear reflector and lines up with the wheel well. So that's basically how you install it. And then you go around to the other side, do the same thing with L1, L2. 2, L3, L4, L5, L6, in those orders. So that, my friend, is how you stick the old Mustang stripes on, and they look good. Depending on the color car you have, mine is Kona Blue, so I like the white, but I chose gold. And I'll post a picture up here somewhere uh, later on um, so you can see how it came out. Okay, so there's the instructions. See you later. Okay, so to get this to happen, that is to put on the gold, white, whatever color you choose, side stripes on your car, this one happens to be a 2012 Mustang, <clears throat> I'm going to go around to the other side, which is blank yet, and show you step by step what you have to do. Step number two is take the big decal, I call it number three, because number one is going there on the bottom. Number two is going to go back there between the door and the rear wheel well. So, number one, just so that you can line up the bottom strip that I'm going to tape on next. Then I'm going to remove that one and uh, then I'm going to put the bottom strip on the car. That way every other piece will line up. Okay, so the first strip, number one, goes on right where it lines up with that front decal. Now I could take the front decal off and put it on the car. And everything else will flow from that bottom one. So there's the right side done. And the first kickoff has to be that bottom one right there by the door. 
And remember, we pasted or taped the uh, design on the front so that we can line everything up with the bottom. And that's what happens. So that's done. Now, you're going to have a few air bubbles here and there. I put it on without the soap and water that they recommended. I tried that on the other side. It sucked. So you just put them on a little bit at a time and squeegee it out with the little plastic applicator they give you. And there it is, left side done. A couple of bubbles. You just pin prick it with a razor blade or pin and uh, hit it with the uh, plastic squeegee thing they give you. And the air just comes right out, no bubbles. And that's it, the right side done. A few bubbles, stick a pin in them, squeegee them out, no problem.